Okay, so we're back using Google Sites, and we're going to go ahead and um, and go and edit the site that we made previously. So we're we're back at Google, and we're going to go into our we're going to click on those squares, go to Google Drive. We're going to click on uh, School because that's the folder we made. And remember, our sample site was in sixth grade, so we're going to double click the sixth grade sample site. We're going to, going to double click our portfolio that we were working on. Okay, so let's say that we want to add an introduction uh, here. Um, so notice that uh, there's no content, right? So our introductory page is not, there's nothing here. So the first thing we're going to do to add content is we're going to click one of these layouts. So notice there's lots of different layouts. You know, we have uh, you know, picture on the top, text on the bottom, lots of pictures, three pictures with text, four pictures in a row, picture with text on the right. There's a lot of them. Okay, so we're gonna add in the section first and then we're gonna fill each section with content, okay? Content being text and photos. Okay, so our text, we're gonna go ahead and add um, uh, biography, okay? So maybe if you're adding a biography or maybe an introduction, Or maybe you're saying, who am I? Okay. We're gonna go ahead and call it a biography. Okay, and then you would write text in. I'm just gonna paste in some sample text here. You don't need to follow along just to get my sample text for me. Okay, so I'm gonna get some, copy some sample text from the internet and we're gonna just paste it in there. Okay, you're, you would actually write your, you know, based upon what your teacher says. Okay, so we have our heading, you know, our, our, our section heading and our section text. Um, and this has all the regular stuff, you know, if, if we want to do bullet points or bold or change the size or whatever it is. Okay, now let's say we want to add an image. So, that, you know, we have to add a lot of images on the internet because we don't, we don't have paper, so we're going to be using lots of images. Okay, so the easiest way to add an image is we go plus to get a new tab, and then we drag the tab off to make it a new window, kind of adjust the size of the window. Now let's say that I need, that. let's say that um, I don't want to put a picture of myself on here because I know the rules about using a safe internet, right? So, but I do want to put a photo on there, and I want to put a photo that kind of, um, you know, I'm going to talk in my biography about how much I love my cats. And so I'm going to go ahead and put a picture of cats and I'm gonna have funny cats. So I'm gonna go ahead and Google and search. How about not funny cats? Let's just do cat. And I'm sure I'll get a good image. So, and we're gonna go ahead and type in cat and then click images. Okay, and we wanna make sure that our image we're getting is, is okay for us to use. So we are going to go to, um, we're gonna expand it a little bit here and go to tools and then usage rights. We want labeled for non-commercial use. Okay. Okay. Now I like this first one here, so I'm going to click it and get kind of this big preview on the right. Now watch what watch what we can do here. So I'm just going to click and drag. So I'm holding down the mouse button, dragging over and dropping it right below that that little placeholder there. Okay. Now this placeholder I could use it to upload an image, but sometimes that's a little bit more work. So so I'm just going to go ahead and click on there and then click delete. Don't worry, if you deleted the cat, you can just drag it right back over, okay? Um, if you deleted both cats, let's say you had nothing there, uh, we'd drag it over to look a little bit different, but we just would drop it just like that. And then we could expand it out. Okay. All right, so there's our first section, and that's how we can add some, some nice images and text to our website. Okay, now that's one way to add an image, but let's say that I want to, uh, I want to actually turn something in um, from, that I've made, you know. So let's say that I got an assignment and I want to turn in uh, an assignment. That I might do that a little bit differently, right? Okay, we'll cover that in our next video. So for right now, we learned how to do layouts, how to add layouts to our page, how to add text into the page, uh, how to do a heading, and also how to do uh, how to add images pretty easily to our to our web page. 
And we could do a new one. We could do uh, uh, for each one. Let's just go ahead just to practice. Let's add an introduction to each to each web page that we've made. So we've made math, right? Okay, so just to practice, we're going to go ahead and add a little introduction to each page. So I'm going to search math, just an image for math, images. And remember, I want my whoops, I want my tools to be set to non-commercial use. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead and add my text. I'm going to type in math. I'm just going to make the heading the same name. And of course, you would be writing in text, you know, maybe a sentence or two. I should maybe shorten this a little bit because yours might be a little bit shorter as well. Okay, and then I'm going to select my image um, based upon non-commercial rights and drag it over right below. Then I click once and notice when I click, it selects the entire section. Then I click again to select just the placeholder right there and then click delete. Okay, there's math. Now let's go to English. And once again, I'm gonna go ahead and search in my other tab, right? I'm gonna search, uh, this time I'm gonna do a book. Notice they're still labeled for non-commercial use. Um, this time I'm going to go ahead and add in a same exact thing here. So I'm just going to do English and I might do a, you know, a sentence about English. And I'm going to go ahead and click on a photo, drag it over. Okay, click to select the section, click again to select something inside the section and then delete the placeholder. Now I'm on to science. So this time I'm going to do a test tube. You might search for something different. Okay, there I have my image. I'm just gonna, whoops, I'm gonna click on it just to open the preview to get a kind of a nicer image. I'm gonna go ahead and drag it over. Click on the section, click on the placeholder. Click on the section, click on the placeholder and click the trash can to delete. Put in my my um, uh, title, right? Section title. Okay, next one over, we're gonna go ahead and do social studies. Um, this one I'm gonna go, uh, let's say a world map. Okay, and you can do something else, I'm sure, for your teacher. Okay, we're gonna click to get the uh, preview. Remember to check, select your layout, drag your map over. Click for the section, click again to, for a sub item in the section and delete. Okay, I'm gonna select. Okay, and then click into the text. I'm just pasting my text. You are going to have to type it. Okay, and then finally, my last page that I'm doing here my last page is gonna be PE, right? So I'm gonna do uh, running shoes, okay, for my image. And click on this, um, whoops. And we're gonna, remember to do our layout first. We're gonna drag over our image. Click once to select the section. Click another time to select the, something inside the section, delete. And I'm gonna put in PE and finally do our text. Okay, so now let's take a look. So last thing we do, we always remember to publish, right? So we click publish. And notice once I publish twice, it gives me a kind of this update, right? It shows me my old site and my new site. So I just click publish again. And then it just takes me back to my editable version. But remember, I can't turn it in, right? I have to go and view the publish site. And then I can click home. And then I can go ahead and select, this is my URL right up there, right at the top there and click that. And here's my site that I've kind of made. Okay, uh, best of luck um, on making, uh, on adding pages and adding and then adding in uh, your content for those pages by um, dragging over images from Google search. Best of luck.